Hello everybody, this is Casey Zeman and I'm going to do a video for you today. There were, I have been getting a ton of questions about WordPress and so what I've decided to do is show you how to set up a WordPress site in under five minutes. Okay, now I don't know if you've ever set up a, a website in at all, ever, but what this video is going to show is going to show you exactly how to do it from start to finish. Okay, so I'm going to pro I'm going to really push through see if I can get it all in in five minutes. I don't know if I can because there's going to be a lot of stuff. But but really setting up your WordPress site is very, very simple. You just have to let all the technical jargon fly out the window. Don't think that it's too difficult to understand. You'll get it. Trust me. Okay, it's just if you're good at reading directions, just follow along step by step with what I'm doing. Okay. Okay, so let's begin. This is how to set up a website, specifically a WordPress site, in five minutes. All right, let's count down, guys. Get ready. Now, this process is easier than you think. Now, first, we have to go to www.godaddy.com and buy a domain. Okay. okay, here we are at GoDaddy. Now, GoDaddy is where you can purchase domain names. You can also set up web hosting and things like that. However, we're not going to use GoDaddy for the hosting. We're going to use HostGator. And I'll come on to that as well in a minute. But what we're going to do to set up the domain is do it in GoDaddy. Okay, now what is a domain? Well, remember, a do I don't know if you know this, but a domain is a web address, folks, um, such as GoDaddy.com. All right, you know, when you type in anything, it's that's that's what's called a domain. Um, Google.com is a domain. CaseyZemanOnline.com is a domain. So when you're in here, you're going to get your own domain. You're going to find your own. And it should be about whatever your business is about. <clears throat> so, for instance, let's say you, have a, you're, you are in the dog walking niche, okay? So we would type something in that's relevant to the dog walking niche. So I'm going to type something in and just test it out and we can take a look at it. And you do that by clicking the green go button. So let's do that right now. Okay, step to step doggy walking. Now, uh, so this is available, okay? They, they tell you that this is available and you can add it, all right? Now this is kind of, I'm going to give you a little, little bit of advice. When you're setting up and getting a domain, try not to get domains that are too long, okay? This one is pretty long. It's pretty difficult to, uh, to remember or to write. If you can do something smaller like doggy, let's see if doggy steps. I'm sure that it's already taken. It's a pretty popular, yeah. But look, they're giving us options. You can go for a .org or a .net or a .info. And all of these are work the same as a .com, okay? Um, so, but you'll notice that some uh, government organizations usually go for org. It really doesn't matter. Popular choice for, as you can see here, non-commercial organizations, also used by businesses to showcase their charitable activities. Um, if you wanted to register for org rather than .com, you can actually protect your brand. And uh, and so let's let's do that. Let's do .org, okay? And so you click the box that you want, and you continue to register, all right? Now, you don't want any of this stuff, okay? This is what I was telling you. Don't You don't need to upsell. Go all the way to the, to the orange and just say, no, thank you, okay? Now, you have to log in or register to become a, a, a you know, a, a, a GoDaddy user. So, you know, put your information in here, first name, last name, email, company name, for, uh, address, and then next, okay? And then what will happen is you will then be registered, and then they're going to send you a confirmation email, which you have to go in and click, okay? And once you click, you're confirmed, okay? It's pretty, pretty simple, all right? Now, I have, uh, I have an existing account already, so we're just going to go in and go into my existing account because I already have a registered, I have a, a lot of registered domains already. Okay, so we're gonna go into one in particular. 
And this is what I'm going to set up today. I am going to set up, hmm, what should I set up? How about we set up this one, Becoming Pavarotti, okay? I'm a, you know, I'm kind of a music buff. I, I like opera, and uh, this is a particular project that I was thinking about creating. So this is the one that we're going to use as an example of what we're going to do, okay? All right, now what I did is I clicked on the actual domain that I already registered, all right? Now, when you're setting this up, remember, don't upsell. Just go with a, a one-year domain plan, all right? One year. And then once you buy it, you can actually go into your details, all right? And then you once you go into your details, go into all my domains, and you'll have a list of all your domains, okay? So once I have a list of my domains, I can click on the one I want to look at. And now I'm on a page that is designed for this particular domain, okay? D domain information and, uh, and things like that, okay? Now, we're done with that for now, okay? We've already registered the domain. Now we have to go get a hosting account, all right? All right, so let's go to hostgator.com 